Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I hope you are doing very well students and I request all of you to please stay at home, take care of yourself as well as your siblings and parents and people around you. These are some instructions you have to follow. Uh, if you're gonna follow them, you're gonna be safe inshallah. So let's come to the topic. Today we're going to do the holiday homework of science, chapter number two, body system. Reading page 23 to 27 and workbook page 19. So what we need to do, we need to define the tissue skull, backbone, ribcage, joint in the notebook. So before understanding this chapter, you're going to go to the book and you're going to have an image like this. What are the body system? The two people are talking to each other. Hey man, look, I'm a complex and fascinating machine. And the other the girl is flying that particular robot. So before moving to the chapter or the topic we need to understand one thing what is cell a cell is the smallest unit of the life cells are often called the building blocks of life everything in the human body is comprised of cell and when they group themselves according to the size they make a tissue so i'm going to show a video in which you are going to have a clear image regarding the cell here we go <laughs> Please have a look. This is a skeleton. This is the skull. This is the jawbone. This is the shoulder blade. These are the ribs. This is the spine. This is the pelvis. This is the ankle bone. Now let's go to another room to see another special camera called a scanner. Scanner is a camera that takes pictures of soft body parts like the stomach. Every part of our body is made up of tiny building blocks called cells. Cells are too small to see with the naked eye. Scientists can photograph them through powerful microscopes. Our body contains hundreds of different cells that do different jobs. Cells of the same type usually group together to form tissue. So, uh, I believe you people are really curious about the cells and the tissues. So here are some questions which the examiner asked us about to do in the not notebook and you can see clearly I believe First question is tissues. A collection of same kind of cells from a tissue, for example, soft joints, ligaments in our neck. Whenever we have the same size of cells, they group themselves together to form a tissue. As a, as a, as you people have seen the video, you must be aware about the skull. This is skull. A skull is a collection of 22 bones which encase the brain and give from the head and face. So there are 22 bones in the skull that, you know, uh, encase the brain and give form to the head and the face. The next question is backbone. You must be really aware about the backbone. The human spine or backbone is made up of 33 bones called the vertebrae that stretch from the neck to the pelvis and protect the spinal cord. Let's move to the fourth question that is ribcage. 
A rib cage is a bony structure which is attached to the vertebral column and sternum in humans and it is helpful in the prediction of heart and lungs. As you can see, every part of this is playing a major role. As you can see, the fourth, fifth one that is joints. You must have heard about the joints in your normal life. Joints are placed in our skeleton system where bones meet. There are like three types of joints, immovable, slightly movable and freely movable. Let's do the first one that is immovable joints. These joints cannot move, like you're not able to move them. Immovable joints can be found in the scale. Let me show you the example of it. As you can see, as we have studied that 22 bones are there to protect or like encase the brain and other stuff in the skull, these bones cannot move. So you can see from the picture the where the indication is that these are immovable bone joints. Let's move to let's move back to another the second type, the slightly movable and the freely movable joints. Slightly movable joints that cannot these joints can no, can move slightly, they cannot move freely. So slightly movable joints can be found in the backbone and the freely movable joints they can move freely so let me show you the picture of it let's do it movable joints you can see a clear image of it first you can see the ball in the socket these are the joints that can move then the pivot and the hinge these basically the main purpose of these joints to make the bones move and helps to move the body parts so i believe you really care about these topics like joint cells another topic we have read. Thank you so much for watching the video. Stay blessed. Take care and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.